Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video, we are going to check out VS Codium, which is for those of you out there that for some reason or another, you would prefer not to install Microsoft software on your computer, but you would still like to use Visual Studio Code because, well, a lot of people seem to enjoy that code editor and it's got a lot of fans. So what I'm going to do is show you VS Codium, which is basically Visual Studio Code stripped of the Microsoft specific components. So I think that there's definitely going to be some of you out there that would really enjoy this piece of software. Now, before we get into it, I wanna mention the sponsor for today's video, Linode. Linode has been doing cloud computing since 2003, which is actually before Amazon Web Services was even a thing. On Linode's platform, you can get your server up and running in minutes. And they include all of the popular distributions such as Debian, Fedora, Ubuntu, and get this, even Arch Linux. And let's be honest, what could be better than a Linux-focused cloud server provider that allows you to tell all your friends, I run Arch. Linode has multiple server plans available to make any app scalable and flexible. You can use it to host a blog, a VPN server, a Minecraft server, and much more. In fact, Linode is the chosen platform that's used to host the entire web presence of Learn Linux TV. And Linode offers 24 by 7, 365 support, regardless of plan size, so you can get live help from a real person when you need it. New users can get started right now with $100 in credit towards a new account, and I highly recommend you check them out because Linode is awesome. I really appreciate Linode's continued sponsorship of Learn Linux TV. I really appreciate it. Now, without any further ado, let's check out VS Codium. All right, so here I am on the official website for VS Codium. And as we can see from the verbiage right here, it's pretty clear what the intent of this project actually is. Their aim is to provide free open source software binaries of Visual Studio Code. We have a screenshot right here. So if you haven't already seen Visual Studio Code, well, it looks something like that. But let's go ahead and jump over to the installation section of the website and get this installed so we can see it for ourselves. Now we can already click this button right here to download the latest release. As you can see, it's not just available for Linux, it's also available for Mac OS and Windows as well. And that's great because if you work in a mixed environment, then you can have VS Codium installed on whichever of these operating systems you have in use. If you scroll down, there's some additional methods that you can use to install VS Codium, which I think is pretty impressive because you name it, they have it. So for example, we have the Debian package, which is also compatible with Ubuntu as well. But not to be outdone, if you go to flathub.org and then search for VS Codium there, as you can see, it's available. So I'll click on that and scroll down to the version number. The version on Flathub is 1.56.2. And back on the main website, I'll click on the download button. And as you can see, the latest release is 1.56.2. Now for me personally, I usually prefer to install the Flatpak version whenever I can. It's just easier. It's available for pretty much every distribution. So you don't have to worry about distribution specific commands when you go to install something. Flatpaks are awesome, but not every distribution is set up for that. Sometimes you have to set up Flatpak support manually. Just keep that in mind. But if you scroll down all the way at the bottom here, they give you the commands that you would need to run in order to get this installed on your system. Now back on the main website, what I'm going to do is install the dev version. So I'm going to install the AMD64 version. I'll make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it, which is this one right here. So for the majority of you guys, if you are on Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or a flavor of Ubuntu, this is probably the one that you want. In addition to that, I haven't actually looked at it yet. 
but I can guess that it's on the Arch user repository as well because, well, pretty much everything is. So I'm going to search for VS Codium. And here it is. So as you can see, there's no shortage of ways to get VS Codium on your system. The AUR has a package build. There's a Debian package. It's available for Mac OS, Windows, you get the idea. But anyway, without any further hesitation, I'm going to click right here to download the AMD64 version of VS Codium. And I'm going to save the file. Quite a few distributions when you download a Debian package will open a utility that you can use via the GUI to install a package without having to use a command line, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is save the file. Let's open up a terminal. And then go into the downloads directory. There's VS Codium right there. Let's go ahead and install it. VS Codium is now installed on my system. And that means if I go to the application menu, I should find it in the menu. And here it is. And as you can see, the installation was a success. So let's check it out. Now, the first thing we see here is a welcome screen. And honestly, there's not really a whole lot here to check out, just some general information. I'm going to check this box to not show this at boot time. Now create a new file and let's play around with it. So I made it bigger so you guys out there won't have to squint to see it on my high DPI display. But right now it's asking us to select a language. Python is an option, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to start out and write a hello world application in Python. This is not a Python tutorial, but I do wanna write at least some kind of code here so that we can see this in action. And speaking of Python, if you are interested in learning Python, if you don't know it already, I have an entire series of videos on my channel that'll teach you all the basics of Python to get you up and running. So I'm going to put a card on the screen right about here that you could check out if you are interested in learning Python. So anyway, I'm going to start out my program as we normally would. Again, check out the video series if you wanna learn more about Python. But what I'm going to do is just write a simple print statement And there we go, we have a simple Python program. So I'm going to click on run, and I'll just run it without debugging. Of course, we need to save it before we can actually run it, so I guess I'll just save it right there. Now this is pretty cool. Rather than outright failing because I was missing the appropriate extension for Python, it's giving me the option to get that installed, so I may as well. And you can already see how helpful this application tries to be. It's letting me know that PyLint is not installed on my system. And it's given me the option to install it, although that's going to fail because I haven't set up pip. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to our application. If I go to run it, it should run now. Let's see. And as you can see here, the application ran. I was able to write a simple Python app in VS Codium. And if I go to the help menu and then go to about, you can see that Microsoft is not mentioned at all here. So if you are at all not a fan of Microsoft, but you still wanna use Visual Studio Code, because let's be honest, it's pretty awesome. I think this is a great solution. VS Codium so far is pretty cool. So there you go. So far, VS Codium is pretty cool. 
I haven't spent all that much time with Visual Studio Code as of yet, but maybe now that VS Codium exists, I'll give it a longer look. So far, so good. Now let me know what you guys think of VS Codium in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you click that like button to let YouTube know that you want to see more content just like this. And thanks for watching.